Championship season was officially pronounced open this week with not only the return of your favourite TV show, but also the most important computer games event of the year, the European Computer Trade Show. Anyone who was anyone was there, and so was Violet, who found herself strangely drawn to the hardware. Philips have relaunched the CDI with a new lighter box, a cheaper price and a funny looking controller. Like the 3DO, they're still concentrated on a range of different CDs. At the moment, they're particularly concentrating on games, with the excellent looking Burn Cipher coming out at the end of October. Hitting the shops at last with the 3DO, as well as games that play audio CDs, photo CDs, and with an attachment that will come out later, video CDs. At around 400 quid, it's not cheap, but it does come with a game. Total Eclipse. This is the PlayStation, one of the next generation of super consoles. The Japanese are going to get it in December, but we're going to have to wait until the end of 1995. There aren't any games developed for it at the moment, and programmers are going round and round in circles trying to get some ready. Some say home virtual reality is going to be the next big thing. There are quite a few different headsets coming out in the near future. This one, the snappily titled VFX1, costs a whopping 650 quid. Mind you, you can plug it into the PC and play top PC games like Inferno. As 16-bit computers like the Amiga and the Atari ST fade away, the PC goes from strength to strength. This monster is the absolute latest PC. It's called the Pentium, and this game, Magic Carpet, is one of the first games specifically designed to run on it. It's amazing. The last word from this show is emulator. That's a nifty bit of kit that makes one machine act like another. Now, this PC has already got a 3DO emulator slotted into it, which means you can go straight from the boring stuff to playing Road Rash. You never know who you're going to come across the show. This is a game tag from the Czech Republic. So does that mean you get bad influence from the Czech Republic? Yeah, I think bad influence is so popular, so our magazine is calibrated. Brilliant. Who's your favourite? Is it Andy? No. Is it me? Mm, I think no. Who it's is it then? This guy. Oh, no. Who is it? Nam Rude is an international superstar. Well, in the Czech Republic anyway. Oh, I don't get that.